I'm gonna eat you alive when you sleep. Welcome guys to episode 648 of Minecraft and I'm using the Death Scythe mod. What this mod implements is a, a scythe, the end death sort of item is a scythe and first of all you need to collect some ores. So here I have neatly placed a couple of ores, so um, there's two different variations of these ores. There's the holy and uh, the unholy, the uh, sort of evil and the heavenly. Here we have the holy crystal splinter and the purple one is the unholy holy crystal splinter now the these are just uh two differences uh just just to uh di diversify the uh, the mod and uh, basically create two scythes um instead of just the one colored scythe so we're just going to pick up a couple um i do believe you need uh, quite a bit more um to actually uh, create the gems so we'll go actually you need quite a lot to actually create the uh, uh, the actual scythe itself because um it is actually quite a end game item and uh, it is actually very uh very op um i'm guessing and uh, sort of it has to be balanced out by uh using a lot of uh, a lot of these shards and splinters all right so we're gonna run over here to our nice little furnace and i really should have uh oh oh dear uh, we had an evil guest. Oh, fine, fine, be like that. That was that was quite mean of him. Well, all right, let's well, moving on. Uh, we're gonna place some uh, charcoal or some coal into our furnace, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna uh, use some soul sand, and we're gonna smelt that to create the cursed soul. Now it creates a little skull of some sorts, like so, and uh, you needed actually quite a lot of them. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, actually do this, I should, I should have done that earlier, just only used one, and uh, what we're going to create there is a shady pearl, and uh, with these combined, um, with those combined, um, we'll actually need a lot more of the soul sand, and what we're going to do is we're going to spread that around, and we're going to create a soul pearl, but that's a bit later on, um, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to get the uh, sh splinters, all these shards, um, and I always call them shards, but the splinters, but uh, we're going to get the holy crystal, and it changes into um, a sort of diamond-like object, or diamond-like uh, sort of beloved thing, and uh, there we go, we have a unholy crystal, and a holy crystal. Now these guys uh, act exactly like diamond, and um, and, and sort of uh, uh, not not as strong that they're, uh, they're uh, as powerful as iron, but uh, they have the same sort of properties as an ore. So what we're doing is we're just waiting around uh, for the cursed soul, and I guess I can actually uh, um, spawn them in a couple a couple in. There we go. That will help us in the crafting stage. And what you got to do is you got to wrap that around uh, like so to create the soul pearl. And uh, once we've created the soul pearl, we need a lot of these soul pearls. So just an example of how to create this armor. It is very uh, uh, sort of very um, powerful, the armor. So there we go. And we also need a cursed soul in the middle to create a helmet. That's only one helmet. Now, the awesome thing about this mod, you may be thinking, well, that's extremely OP. Well, the one thing that this mod includes or uh, implements is the armor is as strong as uh, the armor is as strong as iron, but it is unbreakable. But uh, it also has a negative effect that it's not enchantable. But uh, since I'm wearing, uh, no, I'm not wearing the armor anymore, but uh, the armor is actually unbreakable. So uh, we basically are uh, somewhat immortal. The mod? No, no. Why is there so many creepers here? I thought I'd, I, I reloaded a new world with uh, with the destroyed. I destroyed all the spider jockeys, so uh, there should be all the um, uh, creepers. Creepers should be go gone home by now. All right. Um, now, what what else do we need to do? We need to uh, have uh, some more delicious uh, soul pearls or um, some uh, unholy crystals to create the actual scythe. Now, that's the main part of the mod. So what you got to do is you actually got to use a, a delicious scythe. Now, you need to use a soul pearl and we'll need to create some more soul pearls. You need three soul pearls like so to create the basic death scythe. Now, um, this, this death scythe is uh, very, very powerful. It's as strong as a iron sword, but uh, again, it's not breakable. It's unbreakable. Uh, you can't break it, uh, which is the awesome uh, aspect of this mod. You can see that I'm just whacking stuff away, and uh, it's used as a multi-purpose tool. So uh, you can be getting uh, breaking wood. You can be, wow, why is it so lagging? Uh, and uh, you can kill creepers and stuff with that. So it's a, sort of like a multi-purpose 
tool. Um, you, you'd think that uh, you'd use it for harvesting wheat of some sort, but uh, it's a multi multi purpose tool. And why why is this? Why why am I so laggy? All right, let's continue on. Um, here, uh, once once we have the death scythe, you, you can see that I've punched a lot of things and it doesn't have a durability bar. What we're going to get is we're going to spawn in a lot of these crystals. And uh, remember how hard it was to craft or how um, long it took to craft all these and trying to get everything legit legitimately? Well, yeah, it's, it's, very, it's a very end game item. And uh, here we have the holy scythe. Now the holy scythe is uh, already uh, sort of um, enchanted with knockback two and the fire aspect two. Now the holy holy scythe has a sort of a different aspect than the unholy scythe. Um, it's a bit stronger than a diamond sword. It's unbreakable, and uh, again with the enchanted stuff, it um, gives you a nice little loot. There we go. Delicious stuff. I want to try it out on an actual mob. Um, let's see. Look, I'm just wearing my little head head mask over here, and I'm um, like the Grim Reaper over here. Come here, come here. Whoa! There we go. Look at that knockback. So, so yeah, you know what? I want to push this zomba, zomb, zomba off off my. Did he fall off? Yes. I am victorious. Let's go say hi to him. Ah. Hey, zombie. No. Why? Why am I not? Okay. I'm, I'm surfacing now. Come back here. Come back! Die! There we go, he's dead. And just continuing on, I'm gonna craft the unholy scythe. So, uh, we are actually gonna do this and I'll just spawn in a normal scythe. So, here, here's a death scythe and uh, then we're gonna get the unholy scythe. Now, you can actually create a grindstone. Now, what that means is that it actually sharpens your scythe up. So, you can actually get the enchantment of the scythe. Now, you need a stone block like so to create the grindstone. And all you need to do is place a, a scythe there underneath and... Uh, I think it's a shapeless rest. No, it's not. Um, and uh, never mind. And uh, it gets you the sharpened holy scythe. Now this works with all the scythes. So you can see here we have a sharpened death scythe, a uh, holy scythe, and a sharpened unholy. Oh, holy scythe. So there we go. We get the encha enchanted, and uh, it's also got this sharpness, sharpness of one. Now the holy, uh, unholy scythe doesn't have any um, enchantments. So uh, let's go see if it actually takes away the enchantments for the actual holy scythe. So we've got knockback and fire. Ash. Aspect. Now, if you just uh, spawn in a grindstone and holy sharpened scythe. Okay, so it includes. It just doesn't take away. It just includes that. So that's pretty cool. And we get we get more. Sh we get sharpness. So uh, that'll be fun to fun to muck around with. Where's a mob? Where's a mob? Come here, wherever you are. They always like to hide in this corner. Look at them. They always they always like. They always attracted in here. I always hear skeletons somewhere here. Nope. Okay, fine. I'm mistaken. Nope. I was right. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, hello. Thank you, Iron Ingot. Now, I rate this mod a 6 out of 10 Fruit Loops. This mod was sort of mediocre. It was cool, but not awesome. Now, um, it just implemented a few armor sets and a new tool. Um, nothing nothing too spectacular there, but uh, it's just pretty cool if you're into uh, the Grim Reaper or sort of uh, creating evil sharp scythes. So uh, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and as always, have a nice day.